What? What time is it? Peter? <sighs> Peter, Peter, what happened last night? <sighs> I think I became fluent in keg draft. But did we... Oh my gosh. We did. Did what? You sure? Yes, I'm sure, and you should be too. You were kind of there. My body was, I guess, but not my mind. Darcy, I was totally wasted. <laughs> You're not the only one. I got the thrashing headache to prove it. We had sex. When does the next bus leave? If I don't get home before my parents, I'm dead. <sighs> Darcy, uh, I know this isn't how you pictured it. Look, let me get dressed. Just get out. No, I mean... No. I wish it had been more memorable. I know how much it meant to you, losing my virginity. <laughs> no, you don't, Peter. Not even a little. Now, please, let me get dressed. Way to unpractice on a high note. What happened? What? Uh... What do you mean? You know, at Mount Huron, after you got all judgy on me and I left? Manny, I'm really sorry about that. What was it again? No values, no self-respect. Uh-oh. Rents caught you sneaking back in, didn't they? Um, no, they didn't. It's not that. It's Peter. I had a feeling when you guys weren't on the bus home. Did something happen? <sighs> Everything. And I barely remember it. Are you sure you said yes? You're sure Peter didn't take advantage? Manny, don't go there. I got drunk and I made a mistake. You're not the first one, honey. But if people found out, what if they talk and say I'm this big nympho? I swear I'd die. You'll be fine. So as long as you make sure Peter hasn't told anyone. But I know. And every girl is entitled to a secret. Or two. Or three. <laughs> I'll be fine. Hey, still mad at me? I wasn't mad at you. I was freaked out. Oh. Yeah, I get it. I do. I was freaked too. I was just surprised, I guess. Yeah, I know. It wasn't how you thought it would happen. So we agree. It was a mistake. It can't happen again. Darcy, I don't want to do anything to make you unhappy. Ever. So, whatever you say goes. And you didn't tell anyone about... about what we did, did you? No, of course not. Good, because if anyone found out... Don't worry. No one will. I'm just glad we're cool, because if you're mad at me, man, I can take it. <laughs> Darcy, I'm sorry. Great. You're sorry. That's really gonna help me get my reputation back. I only told Danny and Derek because I was so freaking confused. About what? About the fact that you say we had sex, but I don't think we did. I really don't. I know what happened that night. I know we had sex. Listen, last time I saw you, you were passed out. There were a lot of people around, people we don't know. It was out of control. Stop it, Peter. I really hope it's not true, but what if something happened? It's not possible. I'm not the sort of person that happens to. You're sure you had sex, but I'm sure it wasn't with me. Don't talk to me. You heard what I said. Don't talk to me. Ever. Attention, students. Darcy, you little thief. Yeah, we heard you stole Pete's virginity. 
Man, my man, you little minx. Out of the way, dorks. Don't let them bug you. We've both been here before. Mm. It's like being a sheep, and the halls are filled with wolves with acne. Guess all those years in Friendship Club didn't mean much. Hey, Kim. I see you're still wearing your abstinence ring. Don't you think you should take it off? This isn't the time, Kim. No, it's fine. Satisfied? Virginity is God's most precious gift. And you just gave it away. Darcy, can I talk to you? I think you did enough talking. You made my life here hell. Shoot! Go on! Get! I'm gonna murder Danny and Derek. Hey, um, you guys hear about that Mount Huron thing? There's a police warning about some roofie rapist on the loose. Someone's going around and spiking random girls. We can go do it if you want. Just now in the bedroom, Peter's trying to make me do things. Oh, Lisa, are you? I only had one drink, jackass. Can you believe that? Someone's going around and spiking random girls' drinks at parties. It's crazy scary. Totally. So lucky it wasn't one of us. Yeah. What? You said you were out of your mind drunk. I had one drink. It just hit me. One drink doesn't hit you like that. Roofies do, and they also make you forget. I remember me and Peter having sex. I remember the whole thing. It was beautiful. It's not what you said yesterday. Well, my memory came back. So we sent this off to the lab, along with your urine. We'll test for the usual STIs. Just bend your arm up. And we'll have the results in a few hours. And there's absolutely no way you can tell if I'm pregnant? Not this soon, I'm sorry. You, uh, you said you were very intoxicated when you had sex. Are you sure it was consensual? Absolutely. My boyfriend Ramon's condom just broke. Miss uh, Edwards, I know an excellent person you can talk to if... No need, doctor. I got my boyfriend, my family, my friends. All sorts of support. Okay. Hey, got your eye on. What's going on? I used to play here when I was little. I used to dream about my prince who would sweep me off my feet. In our perfect wedding. I just found out I have chlamydia. Got any antibiotics? Is Peter getting tested? I remember feeling someone on top of me and he smelled so bad. Not like Peter. I just wanted it to be him so bad. <laughs> oh my god, Darcy. I don't know what to do, Manny. I'm terrified. Everywhere I look, I think, is that him? Is that the guy who... Darcy, we gotta talk to someone. You gotta tell. You said, Manny, you said every girl is entitled to a secret. I didn't mean getting raped. <laughs> Babe, you gotta talk to your parents, okay? And Darcy... You're still gonna have your prince and your perfect wedding. You're gonna have both. Okay, it's okay. Daddy and I are off to choir practice. Hey, everything okay, honey? Oh, don't tell me that gold of yours is coming back. I'm still feeling a little under the weather. I have fun at choir.
Okay, bring it down. Holly J, can you take over for a sec? Okay, back in formation. Darcy? Darcy told them yet. Someone's got you. Not us, not now. Why not? I got this pamphlet. Oh, great. Pamphlet. It says rape victims need to heal at their own pace. It's important. The cut wasn't deep. She'll be okay. But can you tell me why my perfect daughter would have done this? Mrs. Edwards, I really don't know. I just don't know what to say. I don't even know why I'm here. You're here because you hurt yourself on school property. Darcy, I know there's a reason for what you did. And if you ever do want to talk, I could be a pretty good listener. But in the meantime, we're going to create a safety plan and make sure you have the best support system around. And if there's anything else you need, you know where to reach me. Hey, how'd it go? I couldn't tell her. Not yet. Going something. Abstinence ring. What happened? It didn't count, Darcy. Mm. 